it was clear that, the, that Mr. El Gahadi should not have been working across the street from a school. I share this community's outrage upon learning of the situation. Monroe County Executive Adam Bellow says big changes are coming to the probation department after a level two sex offender was arrested for rape at the store where he worked, which was right across the street from a school. When the arrest happened in March, two outside agencies were brought in to investigate the department. Their reports were released today. They show major shortfalls when it comes to how the probation department confirms the work addresses of the sex offenders they're tasked with monitoring. News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey is here with the details. Jen? Yeah, Brett, Deanna, these are the two reports right here. And the head of the probation department has been let go as a direct result of what is in them. And there is no excuse for what happened. Shadad Elagathy wasn't supposed to be within a thousand feet of a school as a level two sex offender on probation, but he was arrested, charged with raping a girl inside this convenience store where he worked. And right next door is School 25. Turns out Monroe County Probation did know he was working here. He had uh, moved from one, if you will, employment opportunity to another and looking to verify that information. So that site was visited, the individual was contacted there. Meaning the probation officer didn't notice the school next door, didn't know there was a rule about it? The, due, to, due to the dual supervision that existed, and that's where the training recommendation, the cross-training recommendation comes in. Translation, Allegathy was on probation for a few different crimes, and the officer who made the visit didn't specialize in rules for sex offenders. Either way, it's just one of many issues these reports uncovered when it comes to workplaces of sex offenders. You may have a W-2, a pay stub, something like that, that was collected from that sex offender to show where they worked. Um, but there's no standard in place or law in place as to then how often that's verified or how that's verified. So the county executive now says he is requiring probation officers to conduct home and work visits every 90 days for all sex offenders. He's also mandating the officers be cross-trained in different stipulations for all probationers. And he wants the mapping software the department uses updated immediately. The last time that happened was 2018, which means it's likely missing some new schools in daycare centers. Have all the other sex offenders' work addresses been checked by now, and they are up to date and following all the rules that are out there. We are continuing to work through that because in many instances, individuals change employment. We sometimes find that out when we go to the previous employment location and then have to backtrack where their new employment location is. I will say that after our um, briefing in March, we received several calls to our office uh, concerning the thousand foot rule and we were able to verify that those probationers uh, under supervision with Monroe County Probation, we're in compliance. The public safety director you saw there will be leading the probation department while a search for a replacement begins.